Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forza Long Guide called Designed for Driving which wants you to own and drive the 2011 BMW X5 M to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car in question. So this is a 2011 BMW X5 M, it will set you back 100,000 credits from the auto show or you can possibly get it cheaper in the auction house. I have also created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon and the share code is on your screen there, hopefully this should help you out with some of the challenges. Now the first challenge here wants you to upgrade your vehicle to the S1 class and then win a street race. So obviously the tune I've just shown you is S1 class but you can of course tune it yourself uh, to the desired class there. Um, now for the street race I went to the Costa Rocosa street race. Now here I have a blueprint created for you guys to use. It's called Forza Thon Easy and again the share code is there on your screen so you can just hit the search button and type that in and it'll bring up this race and it's literally the normal race but with no AI driver tars so you are guaranteed a win no matter how fast you drive so it's a nice easy first challenge now the next one there wants you to earn three stars at speed zone so you can get two stars and one star you don't have to get three stars in one but to do this i recommend heading over to the festival speed zone now two stars on here is only 85 mile an hour which is a really easy target and three stars is 110 so like i said it doesn't matter if you don't get three stars on one run you can get a run of two stars and a run of one star it's really not the end of the world now the reason i chose this speed trap because i know that there are other ones that will be easy just to get three stars on one run is because it's such a short speed trap and if you don't get three stars straight away it doesn't take that long to turn around quickly do it again and get the extra star you need so it's a really easy second challenge there now moving on to the final one, it wants you to earn a kangaroo skill. So for those of you who don't know, a kangaroo skill is three air skills in quick succession. So to get this, I recommend heading over to the Junas Blancas region. This is probably the easiest place to earn air skills. Now it's loads of sand dunes and all you have to do is just keep on jumping them effectively. And like I said, all you need is three air skills in quick succession to unlock the kangaroo, as you can see here. I'll probably rack up, rack up about three or four in very, very quick succession, but you only need one for this challenge. And it doesn't matter if it's a normal air skill, great air, ultimate air, as long as it's just three, any air skill in quick succession, you'll get the kangaroo skill. And it's as simple as that. Now, hopefully this guide has helped you out. Um, if it has, and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. Also, don't forget to stick around for this week's photo challenge guide as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.